Let's start. The project name is WebView. Let's see the project structure. In the manifest, we have set the internet permission, as the WebView need an internet connection. Here we have a main activity. And in the UI, we have activity underscore main dot XML, which is the layout of main activity. Let's see the UI. Here we have the web view. The height and width of the web view is match parent, so that it occupies the entire screen. Let's see the code. Here we have constraint layout as the root layout. And this is the web view. Let's see the Java code now. These are the imports. This is the main activity. This is the data member of the class. In the onCreate function, we have called the setupWebView method. In this function, first we make the JavaScript enabled inside the WebView and set the scroll bar style. Next, if we load an URL in a WebView, the default browser app of the Android device opens and loads the web content. To override this and open the WebView in our own app only, we need to implement a separate web client. So we set the web client here. Inside the web client, in the on-page started function, until the web page loads, we show a progress dialog which says please wait. And an on-page commit visible function, when the web page loads, we dismiss the progress dialog. Next, we make the web view responsive to different screen sizes. Then, we set the zoom controls for the web view. A user can pinch to zoom the web page, and plus minus zoom controls also appear in the web view. At last, we load an URL in the web view. Now, when the user navigates inside a website and then presses the back button to go back to the previous page, the web view closes by default. To avoid this, and to navigate back to the previous web page, we use this on key down function. Inside this function, if the user presses the back button of the device, the web view navigates back to the last web page instead of closing right away. Let's run the app. As you can see, the Google website is loaded in our web view. I can navigate back to the previous page also. And I can pinch to zoom the content. Also, by using these zoom controls, I can zoom in this web page. So that's it. That's how you can implement a web view in Java Android. Thanks for watching.